Hi, I'm Chet Rehal. Today we have a very special guest with us. Dr. Bruce Johnson is a PhD exercise physiologist with an independent research program in the Division of Cardiovascular Diseases at Mayo Clinic Rochester. Dr. Johnson has had his interest in pulmonary and cardiac physiology with a particular emphasis on high altitude physiology. Bruce, why don't you tell us a little bit about your background, your interest in altitude, and a very interesting expedition that you're going to be part of in a few weeks. Yeah, well, thanks, Chet. Um, I've been involved in, in extreme, I'd say extreme physiology, environmental physiology, altitude physiology for about 20 years. And I've had an ongoing interest um, in the limits of human performance and uh, really brought that interest back to the Mayo Clinic when I first started here. And it took that interest to really patient groups and you know some of that same interest uh, evolves around what are the limits to activity levels in certain patient groups like patients with heart failure or chronic lung disease. And this particular project really has been building for a couple years now and has several projects really linked together. And basically we're gonna take our lab and put it on the backs of yaks and bring it up to the base camp of Everest. Of Mount Everest. Mount Everest. So what are you gonna be doing up there? Well, the base camp of Everest is almost 18,000 feet and... So how does that compare to mountains that we may have here in North America? Yeah, so the highest mountains really on continental U.S. are, are more in the 14,000 foot range. You can get up to Alaska and Denali and it's higher. But this is, you know, one of the higher base camps and places to do uh, research of this type. And our projects are linked. Um, we've got several of them. These are logistically difficult projects to plan. So when we go, we, we try to do a number of studies that are linked and in somewhat in parallel. Tell us about the team that, that'll be going on this expedition. Yeah, so it, it will be myself um, and really young members of my laboratory. And as I was saying, I've had an ongoing interest in, in this type of work. And, a lot of these younger uh, postdoctoral type fellows, medical research fellows, have also this kind of interest in environmental physiology, altitude physiology, and field research. And so this is an opportunity to bring them into the field and show them what it's like. I imagine there's no facilities there. Are you taking the facility with you? So we estimate we have 1,300 pounds of medical equipment we'll be bringing up with us. And wow. Yeah, so it's, it's all on yaks and porters to get it up there. So what will you be studying there? So really three, three types of projects. One is a, a collaboration with North Face Company and National Geographic. And we're interested in how their products uh, affect performance in the field. So we're working with some extreme athletes, people that will be summiting uh, Mount Everest. And we're looking at ways to help improve product to help performance in the field. Second, we have some studies running that will parallel our work here um, at Mayo in the laboratory. Um, these are studies looking at uh, lung fluid regulation, um, pulmonary congestion, uh, rapid weight loss, which is uh, a problem at high altitude, but also a problem in certain patient populations. And then a, a third project, which is again somewhat linked, is we're working with a technology group at Mayo that has developed a monitoring device that can run for up to a month with uh, collecting high resolution data. So we're going to bring this device with us, we're going to use it for some of our data capture, and then help develop algorithms that can be used here at the clinic for more home and remote patient monitoring. Are there, are there similarities? and the disturbances in lung water regulation at high altitude and patients with heart failure or no? no? Yeah, we think, we think there are. In fact, we think hypoxia plays a major role in the pathophysiology of a number of chronic diseases. And heart failure you don't typically think of as uh, one of the disease states where hypoxia plays a major role, but we think low perfusion to the tissue, um, low shear stress to the carotid bodies, um, 
We think that the dips in oxygen at night when a lot of these people um, have forms of central sleep apnea probably drives the sympathetic nervous system and then that um, goes on to play a role in the disease process. So how long will you be spending at base camp? So it's about a 40 mile trip into base camp and you can do it relatively rapidly but you need to allow time for your group to acclimatize and we don't want to be sick at base camp. So we'll probably take eight to 10 days to make our way up to base camp. And then the, the study itself will run about 10 days. About 10 days, you know. And will you be monitoring the climbers who will be going to the top? And are you a climber yourself? Yeah. Well, the climbers actually came to the Mayo Clinic. There were nine of them. We put them through a series of tests here. Um, to look at body composition, their fitness, their lung physiology, um, some biochemical markers. And then we gave them devices and they've, they actually left a month ago and have been acclimatizing now. And they'll work their way up to the higher camps and do continuous kind of acclimatization runs. And we'll meet them at base camp and then begin collecting additional data. Well, Bruce, that sounds like a fascinating project and I'm sure the data that you generate is gonna be of uh, both a wide interest and potentially of, of benefit to our patients with heart failure and other uh, cardiac problems, so good luck with it. Yeah, well thank you very much. It, it'll be an exciting study. We look forward to hearing the follow-up after you're back. Thank you. Yeah, thank you.